crazy. I love it, but it's crazy. It was a big, big production. It was it was really cool. You would have loved it. And, we'll do it again. Don't worry about it. And you know, second term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll It'll run be again. even bigger. How do you dance with a woman when she's the one performing on stage? See, that's my problem. Laney Wilson. Ah, uh, yes. Phenomenal, phenomenal artist reappears. Mm -hmm. What has that been like uh, to have these moments, these very like intimate moments with her and to get to know her on this level? Lainey Wilson is an absolute treasure. Uh, I didn't know who she was. And uh, I looked her up and I listened to her music and I couldn't wait to meet her. My cowboy's back. She showed up and she was just as excited and had as good of an attitude as you can on set as a new person and admitted that she didn't know how to do anything. And please correct me. Correct me, she would say, if I'm doing anything wrong, or I'd like to learn and I want to be better. She's such a natural. The way she writes her songs, her heart comes out of her. She says the words as perfectly as they're meant. So no one ever has any notes for her, and she's as sincere. She's the best acting partner, you know, for a first timer that you could ever ask for. <laughs> <laughs> Show me what you got, cowboy. <laughs> and it's just, it's so exciting to see this whole other side of Ryan. He's a guy who, sort of has a foot in all these different worlds on the ranch. We've seen like Ryan the livestock officer basically going along with Casey on these kind of tense missions. We've seen like Ryan the prankster in the bunkhouse. It feels like this whole other side of him, this kind of flirt, this charmer. Musically, it's a it was a absolute blast to see her play some songs that was some of them were new that, that at the time I hadn't ever heard and mm. you don't have any real context because I listen to the record so often and our romance is, is is budding you can tell there's been a time cut and that we've hung out in between right. and that now we are a proper couple so we get to dance together how good would you say you are at two-stepping <laughs> I love two-stepping I was fortunate enough to go to um, a cowboy line dancing bar okay. in, Orange, in Orange County when I was younger, and we would go two, three nights a week. You would go two or three nights a week? Yep, the same place. And we would, it was called the Cowboy Boogie. Okay. So I learned all the dances, and two-stepping is about the easiest one that you can, that's okay. not even a line dance. And we do it together. I can't wait for her to make another appearance because uh, I'm just absolutely enamored with, with her as a person and her music and her skill. Country lifestyle in our our world is very specific, and the artists that make the music that go along with it are poets. Do you know any sad songs? Most people say that's all I know. And they oftentimes have very outlandish and flamboyant songs, mm. and, and sometimes hilarious and weird, and sometimes quite unbelievable. So we're gonna play a game. Ooh. Is this a country music song or not? All right, Denim, you go first. I go first, love it. Um, my heart is a bottle of whiskey, so honey, bottoms up. Show us how you feel! If it, if it isn't, it damn well ought to be. That's a great name for a song. So are you saying that it, it is a song? It has to be. You, true. If it's not, then take me now. It's true? Yeah. True, true. Not a song. Oh! It's all well, about the way that you say it. It is now. Crowd likes it. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what you just said. Is that a song or not? That see, also doesn't <sighs> seem... I don't, I, want, I don't want to go 0 for 2, but it does not sound like a song. I'm going to say no. Get your biscuits that is in not, the oven and get your buns in the it bed. It probably is like. Biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. I think this is not no, a song. That's not There's a no song. No way that's a song. Uh, it is a song. It's a song by Kinky Friedman. What's Kinky doing today? Oh, for two. <laughs> Oh, for two. What's Kinky Friedman up well, to? Well, yeah. he's got buns in both the oven and the bed. And... You got too many buns and biscuits everywhere, yeah. Okay. That's how you make a biscuit. I want to whip your cow. False. Not a country song. Yeah, no, that's not a country song. Indeed it is. A song by John Thompson and Martin Pearson. Sorry, gentlemen. My I, colleagues are ignorant. I want to what? What is that? I want to whip your cow. Okay, great. Listen. Whatever. Hey, whatever these guys whatever, are into. Whatever. Whatever they're the into boat, is what they're into. <laughs> Put your love in the saddle. It's time to giddy up. Perhaps this. I know what this means. Mm. You want to spin the knot? <laughs> yeah, I think we all know what it yeah, means. Yes. So I'm gonna go. Yes. That's not a song. It's not a song. I mean, and and good. We're all better for it. Pray like hell and hold on. <laughs> Oh, here's one for you. Beg for broken legs. I just, the problem is I know it's a song, but like, what would you have to be going through to be like begging I, for that? Yeah, it is a song. It's a song by Ryan Bingham. Okay, I mean, when I say, 
What did you have to be going through for that? I mean, like you must have been experiencing tremendous success. <laughs> exactly. You know, uh, sort of meteoric success. Play that guitar. Why? Y'all want to hear one? If love were a quart of oil, I'd be running low. That's probably a song. I would say yes, it's a song. I'm gonna say no, it's not. Final answer. Final answer. Lewis Grizzard would say, F you. They made that name up too. <laughs> I've gotten one right. It is, you're gonna get this one right. Heart like a truck. Brandon Wilson, 10 points. <laughs> if you haven't heard this song, you will put it on in your car on 12. Yeah, I love that song. She's pretty damn good. She's great. We needed this. Yeah, we all needed it, son. Something I was so excited to read, and I'm very sorry I missed, is this massive spring gather. Right. Which is like a real thing you have to do on a big cattle ranch like that mm. that you guys got to participate in. This was a pretty massive sequence. Oh, Holy this is, this sugar is like fish. A huge operation without the cameras. Every year you go out and you gather all of the, the cow calf pairs. You know, get your new your new cows and little babies, and you got to bring them back, and you got to brand them and, and vaccinate them and do all the stuff. We get help from nearby ranches. You leave at three o'clock in the morning. You don't take any bedrolls. You don't have any stuff. Last one of those for a few days. Yeah. Because all you do is get out there. You get them together. You herd them. Spend the night. The next day, you bring them back in, and it's like a giant parade. And the townspeople come, and Gators making food. There's music and all that, and it. Took us about, I would say, total maybe ten different shooting days. It's a huge. It's huge. You're talking about the yellow, the Dutton Ranch, this massive and area. The whole family's out there too. Beth yeah. is out there. Like the whole cast. And everybody on the program, <laughs> except for Monica and. They stay Summer. back, and we're preparing Summer. for the second Seven half of this. Yeah, they're like yes. peeling potatoes. Like, let's get ready for when the guys get back. It was so big. There was a moment where we're kind of setting up cameras, and our horses are facing towards the barn, but we're like a half a mile out, and you just kind of like take it all in, and you're like. Like, my goodness, this is just large. It's gonna be pretty epic to watch. Those are those moments that we've experienced over the last five years where your character and you line up perfectly and you look around and you're like, wait a second, I'm actually out here doing this. And then just in the story, such a like, you know, Taylor writes so brilliantly these highs and lows. You know, I've come to believe perfection only lives in little moments. Emmett Walsh dies right. on the gather. The I mean, he's like one of his best friends doing the thing he loves to do. And in, the, in this beautiful moment, spring, something gets taken away. I mean, it's, it's like you said, it's brutal. And then John has to ride back first. With that. To meet the wife. And then that conversation. It's heartbreaking. And, and he died, which doing is a sad thing, doing exactly what How he loved. Every cowboy wishes he could die. How? Like a cowboy should. Buck Taylor, yeah. he played my dad in Walker, Texas Ranger. I was 17 or 18 at the time. To work with him again on horseback was an absolute treat. Sure you got another ride in you? I'll race your ass up to the top, Governor. Mm -hmm.